All right, so um, presently the Pikachu uh, clip here is completely obscuring the background. I can hide that clip temporarily uh, and you can see it sits in front. Um, so we need to remove the, the green areas. We need to, to, um, to do what's called chroma key compositing. So compositing means combining, combining, um, combining tracks in some way. Um, chroma means color and keying means removing part of one uh, clip so that some bits of it become transparent. So, so chroma keying means we're locking onto one particular color to remove it from, um, from the clip before we do the compositing. Um, all right, to do the chroma key compositing, we're gonna use an effect. Scrolling through the list, we're looking for keying and under that, um, there's various different ways we can do the keying, and um, by all means have a play around with these, but for, for green screening, the most effective way of doing it is using a color difference key. We drag that and drop it onto the clip that we want to remove the green from. And you can see straight away, um, the green areas become transparent. If I, if I zoom in to the clip, you'll see there's a little bit of a, a green glow around the edge here. So we could we could modify um, the keying here to to become to be a bit more accurate. We could adjust um, what's called the mat. The mat is the um, the area um, that's been identified by the computer that needs removing. You, you can see the mat if I go into the effects here that we just apply the color difference key. Um, and tick the box, you can see the map that's been calculated by the computer based on that green screen. So this can be modified. There, there's adjustments we can make. We're, we're going to see this later on um, with a different with a different track. But in this case, uh, the computer's done a pretty good job, and that tiny green glow around the edge is not really noticeable. So we'll leave that as it is. I, I do need to adjust the size of, of Pikachu. He's a little bit big. We want him to kind of sit back in the scene a little bit. Um, so I'm going to head to, to transform here. I'm going to scale him right down um, to about 20, 25% and just sit him, sit him in the car park just about there. All right, so if I hit space now to preview that, you can see the little guy sat there in there innocently in the car park not knowing what's coming next. Back to our media. We're going to get our, our robot now. So in the trimmer, if you remember, we set the um, the in and out points for this clip. If I drag from the media panel here into here, I'm actually bringing in the original clip and it, that includes the titling that we, that we didn't want. So Command Z to undo that. What you want to do is drag from the trimmer because that's going to give you just this gray area, just a bit of interest to us. Okay, so I'm going to drag this down from um, from the trimmer. I'm going to add it. Once again, I'm overlaying, so I need this to be, um, I need to create a, a new video track for this. And I want this to, to align with the end of our, of our Pikachu clip. You can see it's snapping to the end there. Um, the robot brings its own audio track. We've got this um, additional track um, from before that we can, once again, we can delete. Um, you can rename your tracks, robot and rename track. So that's our robot audio. So scrubbing through uh, and looking at the, um, the main viewer here, once we get to the, to this point, got our robot appearing um, and because we haven't yet keyed out the green um, it's obscuring the uh, the other tracks so next job is to go to effects we want a color difference key again drag it down drop it onto the clip so it's done um, a pretty poor job of of getting rid of the green you can see that the the main bit of the green is gone but the the smoke 
and the dust and stuff here and around the edge of the robot is tinged with green um, looks pretty ugly so this particular um, key here if I show you the map for that needs a bit of cleaning up we've got we've got um, a fuzzy edge here with with green showing through it's not particularly accurate playing around with the with the settings here for the, the min and max um, levels of green um, lets us kind of fine-tune how much of that uh, non-green part is is being um, included so I want to drag this downwards so I'm capturing all of the detail of the dust but I don't obviously want the background shining through so about there seems right um, playing with the gamma levels this kind of a, this is the brightness uh, of the of the of the green um, so just re reducing that down so we can't see any of the the background coming through here but um we need to apply some some other some other filters some other special effects here to, to get rid of this green tinge so tidy up as much as you can with this but then we're going to head back into the keying effects here and under matte enhancement there's a couple of, of um, additional effects we're gonna we're gonna add so the first one's a matte cleaner if I drag that so it's applied after the uh, the color keying here um, now the matte cleaner lets you do things um, that affect the edges of your um, of your mat um, in this particular case these aren't going to be too useful but so for some of the video that you shoot you might find that that smoothing the edges um, you can see that's reducing some of the some of the green but it's also removing some of our detail which we don't want um, or feathering the edge feathering means making transparent but once again by the time we get rid of the green we're starting to lose some of the robot um, or choking choking means uh, reducing the size of your mat so that brings things inwards but once again it's it's not really helpful in this case um, but the mat cleaner can be useful with um with video that you've shot yourself it's, it's, it's definitely worth having a play um, in addition to that the spill remover here does a really good job of getting rid of um, green tinges that are left when you're doing chroma key and you can see it's done a pretty good job here if I if I zoom back out again, um, so we zoom to fit, um, most of that green's gone, in fact, all, all the green's gone. It can have the effect of making things look a little bit orangey. So especially if you've got, um, if you've got a, a shot that's got colors that are close to green, um, you can get an orange tinge with this. As with all the other effects, you can adjust uh, the strength of it um, to suit you so in, but in, in this case it's done a pretty good job if I scrub through my robot here it's looking pretty good the smoke billows in and Pikachu gets blasted Feeling like the um, the smoke's looking a bit. Can you see that kind of hard edge to it here? So, um, gonna just play around with these min and max settings just to reduce those hard edges that we had there. And I think that's working. Good enough. All right, so um, that section of our composition is done. We've got our background track. We've got two other tracks composited on top of it using chroma keying. Um, so we're ready to move on to, um, to our next stage.